Hello. Hi, your first name is Faith? Yes. Uh, how old are you? I'm, I'll be 30 next month. Okay, what do you got for me? Well, I'm a single mom, and I don't. I think that it's okay with one a high high value man. Like I think you it's okay. You, you said you think it's what? It's okay for me to. Um, I'm about to start dating again, and I think that that's what I would like to date. And I think it's nothing wrong with that. Okay, were you married? Yeah. How long? Four years. Okay. And was your husband a high value man? Uh, he was working his way up to one, but no. Okay. Uh, what does that mean? Um, he, he was starting businesses. He was a military man, and okay. he was, you know, getting off his feet. So, all right. How many children do you have? Two. All right. So, to the market, what you're basically saying is, hey, the man I married and had two children was not high value. But now I'm coming to the market, divorced, older, with two children, wanting a man who was b financially better than the one I had two kids for. Yeah. I know it sounds bad, but at the it same sounds, time, it's it, like... it, sounds, it sounds exactly like what it is. I don't fault you for wanting what you want, but what... A, the question always comes back, Faith, why should a high value man pick you versus picking the okay. Why should a high value man pick you versus picking a woman he can make his own children with? That's true. I agree. Cause when I had kids, I didn't want a man with kids also. So I agree. However, I'm just saying I think that if a high I, I think that I could get a high value man possibly just because I have kids, it's not gonna make it like, oh my gosh, she has kids. And I was really? going to ask you a question. Really? Hold on, hold on. What, what, what city, what, what state are you in? Alabama. <laughs> oh, one of the poorest states in the union. You just think you can get a high value man. Do you know any high value man? <laughs> yes, that's what I was going to ask you. I was going to ask you a question. Um, this guy, he's talking to me. He's a high value man. And I was just trying to figure out like, does he really like me or do is he just like probably wanting a booty call because he's probably high value two. but probably number two I'm gonna tell you the truth okay, probably number two he has I mean, no kids and I'm just trying to figure he, out like he, okay. ha he has children no he doesn't have any children right ma'am I mean all right so let's pass like really hold on listen, listen 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 do you have a son or a daughter do you have a son I have two boys, a one okay, and a Okay, so let's zero. fast forward. Let's fast forward 35 years. And your and your oldest son is an accomplished attorney making $400,000 a year. And you've had to work with your ex to put your son through, you know, University of Alabama, through Harvard, through, you know, junior law, all that stuff. And he comes home and says, Mama, I'm getting married to a, a, a woman a, a, a mom a woman with two kids <laughs> you're gonna say all right son i worked all my life for you to go do that i would yes that's gonna get wouldn't be happy at first however if what? she was no no see now stop right there see stop right there why wouldn't you be happy at first because I'll be like, um, you can start your own family. However, if uh -uh, that's what let's you keep going. Let's keep going. No, 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 no. Let's not go down to however. Let's keep on that path. You can start your own family because because that'd be the right thing to do. That's what I not, not the right that, thing, the better thing. Because you didn't raise your son and go through all that for him to take over some other person's bills. Yeah, that's true. Welcome to you. All right. Thanks. I'm sorry, man, but that's the truth. Are your children I, an I asset? I what you're saying, but it's but, like... But you still keep the butt. Are your children... Like, okay. Listen, listen. Are your children an asset to another man? They can be. I didn't ask if they can... How can they be? Some guys um, just want to be stepdaddy. No, no. Tell me how they can be an 
asset? Mm, can't tell you nothing right now. Can't think of anything. So you got me. You're right. If bottom line, ma'am, you're you're you you married a military guy. Why are y'all divorcing? Uh, he was cheating, and we can't okay. work it out because he's a narcissist. So okay, it's oh, nar- not hold on, out. narcissist has he, is a, has he had a clinical designation of narcissist? Are you just saying that? Oh, uh, clinical medication, Clin- something's Narciss- going on. Narcissists lack empathy. <laughs> Okay, so so a narcissist is a narcissist. He's been around children, so he has no. Okay, all right. I'm say this, ma'am. This whole high value thing has a lot of you ladies in a bad position, ma'am. You're in Alabama. You're, you're divorced with two kids, and you want one. Do you care if he's black? The man is black. I would prefer him to be black. Yeah, and that means you want you want eight percent of black men. Eight percent, eight percent of black men earn over a hundred thousand dollars, and they don't really tend to live in Alabama. That's eight percent, regardless as to the age. Eight percent, regardless as to their current marital status. Eight percent, regardless as to sexual orientation. And you didn't make babies with an eight percent man. You made babies with a guy in the middle. Please True. explain to me why you want a guy who's so high up now. I feel That's why I really that want to understand. Wrong, I feel there's nothing wrong with wanting a step daddy with high value. Like it's okay for me wanting my kids to go to private school. Like really? If that makes yeah, no, like no, I think. Well, tell that, me why. Tell me why it's okay. Because if I find a guy and he's high value and he's okay with. I, I just don't see how it's like, oh, she got kids. Oh, uh, uh-uh. I understand it is like more options out there, but just like, um, it's possible. Really? So you don't you don't see any problem? You don't see any issue with wanting your kids to go to private school that you cannot afford to pay for, and your husband can't afford to pay for? No, like. If that's what, you know, I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to tell you this, that's, and that's one of the, that's one of the issues in our community that a woman like yourself could honestly come up and say, I have, I don't see any problem getting somebody who had nothing to do with this to pay for the bill. That's that welfare state mentality. No, it's not. Listen, 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 I'm not insulting you, man, but listen. You can't afford it. Your husband can't afford it. That means you don't get it. The only way you could get your kids in private school is to find somebody else who's willing to put your kids in private school. You want your kids in private school? Get a nanny, get a tutor, work with them to get them a scholarship. That's what you're supposed to do. Go get a second job. Go, go, go. Don't, don't go get your hair done. Listen, 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 uh, okay. Okay. Ma'am, in this life, yeah. we get what we work, what we earn and work. You want somebody else to pay your bills. That is unfair. It is selfish. How? Because you don't have the money. And I you do said, have the, but I not have the, you can't afford to put your kid. Oh Jesus! Comes from money. Okay, okay, let me go ahead and grab this mute button. Because you said if somebody wants to come along and put your kids in private school but you can't afford to put your kids in private school i that's what you said i didn't say that i can't afford but you said if somebody wants to come along and put your kids in private school by implication meaning they're going to be paying for it not you i'm not trying to place them that's true yes that's what i'm saying is yes exactly for if they're my husband no no they're not your husband they're your that'll be your step they were all right. So in other words, guys, pay attention. These are the women you need to listen to, pay attention to. These are the women that really don't care about you because you said it, ma'am. If it were your sons, you would want him to go start his own family. But you're and so. See, so- I don't like how you. But I don't like. I don't care, man. The way the words came out, the way you said, if they were your sons, you would want them to start their own families. 
Yes. But for you, but I also said right if they do want to be step daddy, they can be. So that, that's both not of the them point. Cool. I didn't ask. I didn't ask. No, again, yeah. again, pay attention to what's going on here. It's because of her. It's not because it's no, what's right. No, no, it's not because of what's like right this. or what's no, best. No, because no, you're trying to flip it. I'm not flipping shit. I'm saying exactly what you're saying. It's not because of what's right or what's best. It's because of it's you. That's what it is. It's because of it's her. Think about what she's saying. I would want my sons to get the best possible, but I want you to pay for it. And I and that's fine, but what is he going to get for that? Me? And this is the mentality that guys are listening to, ladies, and saying, do y'all give a damn about... It, it talk about narcissist. Did that woman sound like she cared about a man? Let's get to the next one. It's not-